When I was nine, my dad used to make me type up his letters for him because my English was already better than his. And I hated it. Not just because I didn't want to be his typist and proofreader, but because he revealed things in those letters I didn't want to know. Like how hard it was for him at work, how othered he felt by his colleagues. But then, in 2021, the U.S. saw a 164% surge in hate crimes against people of Asian descent, particularly against elders. And it made me worry about my dad. I thought about all the letters that he made me type up for him when I was barely old enough to spell, how the language barrier between us made it hard for us to talk. Yes, it was true that my father and I weren't close, that I'd literally never had a voluntary heart-to-heart -heart with him in my entire life, that there were times when I hated having to be his translator. But it seemed that all these moments specifically equipped me for this challenge, that my dad needed me to brandish my English words like swords, not just to defend him, but to reveal him, to throw off the cloak the world had thrown over him in its rush to hide all the things that made him different, and all the things that made him human.